One of the first sections you might wish to complete on your Cloodle profile is your bio and you can access this by navigating to the My CV tab on your profile and then it will be the first section that you encounter. Now a lot of you might be thinking what should you put in the bio and there is a help section here which gives you a presentation uh, describing the sections that you may wish to include in your bio as well as a brief introduction as to what a bio is and also the type of thing you should be including in there. So what sort of things should you be writing in your bio? Um, some of these questions might be coming into your mind. How long does it have to be? What should I start with? Who's going to read this? You don't know what to put. It can be quite daunting sitting in front of a blank screen and knowing what to write. So one of the things, the first things you should start with is think about the tone that you want to strike. So if it's overly formal, you'll sound a little bit stuffy, but if it's too informal, you might not be taken seriously. So the aim is to find a balance between the two. Use your own voice. It should come across as your personality. Avoid things like I'm passionate about, which is too cliched. You've seen that all over the place. Or things like from a young age, I've always been fascinated by, which is too boring. Um, or uh, sprinkling in quotations from your favourite famous person like Nelson Mandela. The biography is all about you and there is no place for other people in there. What should you include then? So don't overcomplicate things, just tell us about you. Um, you've been shaped by all your different experiences and your things in your classroom, extracurricular activities you may have done, enrichment you've encountered, your family life. So we want you to tell us about what makes you you. One of the first things you might want to start with is what is your favourite subject. Don't list all the subjects you are studying when you're telling us about what you're currently doing but tell us about your most favourite ones. What are you most interested in? So a great steer on this, you might not, it might not immediately jump out at you, but which subject will you do homework for first or which subject do you enjoy extension reading for or reading around most? Um, chances are that that is your favourite subject. What do you do outside of your college that support your interest in this subject area? For example, do you follow people on Twitter or Instagram that might be to do with your favourite subject? Or do you read extra books around this, this particular subject? Um, and do you get involved in activities that extend your knowledge around this subject? Next, describe what kind of person you are. And there are some prompting questions here which you can access when you come to uh, write in your bio, but things like, are you an empathetic person? Um, do you enjoy maths? Do you speak different languages? Are you well organised? So starting to think about the skills and your personal traits, all those should go into your bio. Still, if you might be finding this difficult, grab a pen and paper again. Think about your best friend and list all of their main qualities and the skills that you think they are good at. Most probably you find it easier listing qualities around your friends than it is for listing your own strengths and weaknesses. So potentially why not ask them um, what you, they think you are good at to get the ball rolling for your bio. Or better still, you could imagine you are your friend and you are writing about what your best qualities are. So write about yourself from your friend's perspective. What do you do in your spare time? That's another massively interesting thing from maybe an employer's perspective or a, um, or a potential university admissions tutor's perspective. What are you interested in? Do you keep fit? Do you go to the theatre? Do you listen to local radio? Do you cook? Do you learn new languages? What are your hobbies? Who do you follow online? Do you play a musical instrument? What societies are you a member of? The possibilities are almost endless. Uh, take an inventory of your life currently. What do you do? What are you involved in? And they uh, will form the bulk of your hobbies and interests. The chances are you may find gaps in these uh, sections in your bio. And this is a great steer that you should probably try to get involved in more things, be it through the school enrichment program or be it through activities that are available in your local community. What skills have you learned from each of these hobbies? And this, in essence, is what Cloodle is all about. How has each activity challenged you or shaped you? What skills have you built through being involved in a particular sport or a particular activity or through your favourite subject? And how will that impact your future? Also, you might want to include as a final paragraph in your bio what life plans you may have. If you have a concrete aspiration, then write about that. So what you want to study, what you want to be, what your, what your favourite occupation might be. Um, you may not have a plan. And if you don't, it's okay to say that, that you're not, um, you're not sure about what you want to do in the future. 
But with that, list what sort of areas you might wish to work in. What would you? What would your ideal job entail? Would it be speaking to people every day? Would it be wrestling with difficult problems? Would it be um, on a science bench, uh, hunched over an experiment? Think about what you do enjoy and what your ideal job's ingredients may possess. Finally, one of the great things about your bio is you're trying to stand out from the crowd. So if you've done something extraordinary, make sure you mention it. So some of the examples listed in this slide might be um, a little bit uh, extreme and may not be something that you can think of as an example in your own life, but they are to give you a steer to the sort of things that you should be mentioning. So take a look through this slideshare, which is listed in your bio section. Click on the help button. That will give you a few decent ideas as to how to get started. But in the main, start small. Write one sentence. What are you currently doing? What's your favorite subject? And the, your bio will grow from there. Remember, this is an ongoing project, so it is never finished. You'll be constantly adding to and refining your bio, so you do not have to get it right in the first instance. Back to that question we asked right at the top of this video, who's going to view this? Well, whoever you share it with. So at the moment, your profile may be locked down and private, but you might want to share it with different people in the future. And at that point, might not be now though, so you don't have to get this 100% correct this, at this time around. Just get started, write a few things down and hone it over time. Once you write the first sentence, the whole process will become a lot easier.